Good afternoon. We're going to be taking a look at a Ranger 7 from XO. This is a pretty decent drone for the price. And this is how you set it up and get it going. And I suspect this is going to be very similar to most drone setups. First, figure out how to fly and get licensed if you need to. Figure out the rules and the laws. Find a good spot like we found here. And let's get ready. We have a couple of batteries. This is the phone that I use to connect with the handset. The XO comes in this nice case with some foam, which has been very useful in keeping it from getting damaged while being bounced around in the van and stuff. The controller starts out, opens up so that it can hold the phone. The drone unfolds, the four arms come out. You want to fully kind of open them and snap them into place. Uh, at this point, my blades were a little bit beat up, so I wanted to make sure none of my blades were uh, kind of touching each other and connected to each other at the tips. That'll kind of happen after a while. And then I uh, took the lens cover off of the camera and the gimbal. This battery is getting a little fat. It's getting kind of puffy, so it doesn't go in very well, but you put the battery in, lock it into place, and then turn it on. Uh, I turn the remote control on at the same time and those lights will kind of coordinate and blink. Eventually they'll sync up. While it's doing that, I take the phone and turn on and off the Wi-Fi. It'll find the drone, or maybe the handset, I'm not sure what it's connecting to. And then once it's connected to the drone, I will open up the drone software and that's ready to get started. I will kind of set the camera into this remote controller. It just kind of fits in there with like a springy type of tension. And then I go on to calibrate the drone. I can't do this inside the van, so we'll spin around and go outside. Uh, the satellites need to sync up and it needs to do its thing. So the first thing we'll do is calibrate the drone itself to its gyroscope inside. It's going to have a spin it in a horizontal direction and then it'll beep. When it's finished, set down the controller and spin it in this vertical orientation. When it's happy there, it'll beep. I probably should do that with the lens down. Now I need to hold down, I'm not really sure what this is doing. This is, I set the software up to go and then I hold down this button and I think this calibrates or reorients the gyro or the gimbal, I'm not really sure. Next step is to wait a few minutes and eventually the enough satellites will be captured that it'll go into mode two, which is its satellite mode, in which case you can fly it around. I like to land it on top of the van like an aircraft carrier. So that's how we landed this one. Let us know what you think. It's a little bit uh, easy. It's a little bit difficult, but it's not too tough once you get used to it. Uh, looking forward to comments in the, uh, on the uh, video when it's out there, wherever you find it. Till next time, thank you for watching. GearWebsites.com is your source for firearms-based playing cards and books. We also have mugs, shirts, and posters with designs that we've made live. Of course, we have patches. Every Friday is Free Patch Friday. We appreciate your support. Thank you for shopping at GearWebsites.com.